Hello everybody, this is Levon and today I am uh, showing you guys my automatic chicken coop door and this thing is all rigged up now. I do have to tuck in my wires and hide my wires of course but it's a... Uh, that's my door being blown by the wind. There's a motor. It's gonna run the whole deal. It's running on a very thin cable that I got anyways it runs to the door the door obviously is open because the sun is out and all my wiring uh, that wiring is just going to run in through this channel and then my other one which is the uh, the other kill switch so these are my triggers basically once the door opens hits that switch motor stops sun sets motor sh motor goes down hits the other switch so outside the coop is my photo cell which is uh there are two of them actually. One picks up daytime, the other picks up night. And if I close it, as you can see, covered up, door closes. So I uh, have a cigar box that I, uh, funny enough, Levon's, I don't know, Golden Eggs, something or other. Levon's uh, G, figure something out. But, um,. Nice cigar box that I had lying around. It's housing all the electronics, and it's running off of a 12 volt adapter, which I'm going to eventually tuck and hide away. And um, what else, guys? I think it's pretty cool. It sits right there. Uh, photo cell goes through there. Wiring running to the motor, which I have to finish up, clean up, tuck it away. And the automatic locking door mechanism, which I designed myself. And as you can see, when it gets to the bottom, the door, when this swings, and actually right where that circle washer is, that little lip hits that switch. And it uh, kills the, uh, the motor. So I'm going to cover up the uh, photo cell. You guys get to see it. And there it is. It's locked and closed. And now it'll do a little like uh, jerky thing. And that basically unlocks, basically takes the uh, the hooks out of the doors because when it goes down and it and it secures, uh, you want that because uh, they kind of latch on, they hang on. So I don't know why it does that, but it's a good thing. Um, it basically jerks them and uh, gets them out of their nook. And then uh, as you see again. See how nicely it's locked up now, and then we'll jerk them, and then it, uh, and it uh, pulls them right out of their uh, right out of their uh, little uh, nooks right there. And that's how it works, guys. You cover this thing up. Sun sets, doors close, sun rises, and the door opens up. Uh, I got to thank my oldest brother, uh, Jack. Uh, for doing all the the electronics in here, he uh, basically put this whole deal together. Uh, a couple of relays and uh, language I don't really understand, but I have to obviously understand some of it in order to rig it up and put it together. So I learned as I went, but he knows what all that is. I know that these are a couple of relays, or that is those are the relays, and these are a couple of. Uh, switches. Uh, one's for close, one's for open. Sunshine, sunset. And then I had obviously the uh, gearing thing. He also gave me that. I don't know if he built the, the wheel or he bought it. So when the sun sets, it closes and it's nice and secure. There's no way a raccoon's going to pry that door open. Uh, unless this motor goes off or I open the back where this maintenance door is, the only only access to the coop. This is going to be the only access. And there it is, guys. My nesting boxes have tools in them right now because obviously I'm finishing up this, this little project. And I'm going to run it through many, many tests, of course, and uh, make sure that it's uh, performing properly and that it doesn't have any hang-ups and if it does I'll um, file them down or fix them but so far it seems to be operating well I don't know if I could slow down the motor just slightly um, it's not that bad but anyways there it is yeah it's not that bad you can 
and adjust. Thank you for watching, and uh, give me any comments or post any questions uh, down below. Thank you again.